I'm gonna grab two of these Colgate Total. This week they're priced at $2.99. Two of them's gonna bring me to $5.98. I'm gonna use this paper 50 cent off of one that we got in today's. I believe it was the Smart Source, and then I'm gonna use a 50 cent digital. I'll be left to pay $4.98, get a $5 register reward for buying two, making it free, but then I'm gonna submit to Ibotta and get a dollar back for each one, making them a $2 money maker. And then I'm gonna grab two of these Colgate Optic White on my husband's account. I'm gonna uh, grab two for $5.98. Again, use a 50 cent off of one and a 50 cent digital. It'll give me back a $5 register reward for buying two. And then I'm gonna submit this one to I bought it for $2 back on each one. There's a separate rebate for each one, so these will be a $2 money maker as well. Um, this week, some Crest toothpaste and Oral-B toothbrushes are $3, and when you buy three, you get a $5 register reward. So I'm gonna pick up three of these for $9. I'm gonna use two of these $2 off of one that came in today's um, December PNG, and then I'm gonna use the $2 digital. I'll be left to pay $3, get back a $5 register reward, make it a $2 money maker, and I'm gonna repeat the deal on my husband's account, same exact way, because I want the register rewards to roll into the paper deal I'm gonna do in the second transaction. And I was really hoping I would get one of these because my next deal is gonna be a paper deal. I'm rolling nothing but register rewards, and I'm not using any points, so this will give me a $5 cash reward. So I did get four $5 register rewards for all the oral care that I did. One, two, three, four. So let's do the second transaction. Okay, so I came back to Walgreens this morning when I filmed the toothpaste deal. I decided to come to another store to try to see if they had the Bounty and the Charmin and stuff. They are completely out of the Bounty. They do have the Charmin. This week they are by four at $4.99, get a $6 register reward. But they did start putting limits again, so limit of two. So I'm going to skip on this deal. I'm going to grab this cotton ale, this 12 equals 24. This week they are $5.99 and we have a dollar digital. It's going to make it $4.99. Next I'm going to pick up um, the Dawn 7 ounce or 99 cents this week. I'm going to pick up four of them um, because I did get the $20 in register rewards from my first transaction. And since the paper deal fell through, I'm trying to pick up some items so that I can use those register rewards two of the um, cream of chicken um, I need this to make green bean casserole I know some people make it with the mushroom but I like it with cream of chicken so I'm gonna pick up two for two dollars no manufactured coupon I'm gonna grab one of these Axe uh, hair shampoo and conditioner for $4.99 use this two dollar off of one manufacturer coupon that came in today's paper I'll pay $2.99 get back two dollars when I bought it making the final cost only 99 cents for one Last three items I'm going to pick up in this transaction. This week the pen team is buy three or more, get a $4 registry award. Three of them is going to cost me $11.97. I'm going to use this five off of three. I'll pay $6.97 and get back the $4 registry award, making them $0.99 cents each. So this is my second transaction. I have a toilet paper, three Pantene, two Campbells, four Dawn, and one Axe. Total before coupons is going to be $28.91. I have $8 in coupons. I have the dollar digital, the five off of three, and the two off of one. That's going to leave me to pay $20.91. But I'm also going to roll the four $5 registry rewards that I got from the Colgate and the Crest. I'll just pay $0.91 cents plus tax out of pocket. The $4 registry reward for the Pantene, the $5 cash reward for spending $20, and I should get back $2 when I bought it for the Axe. So here's the first transaction. The receipt, um, the Colgate total, two at $2.99 for $5.98, and then the Crest, three at $3 for $9. There is the 50 cent Colgate manufactured paper coupon, two of the $2 off the Crest paper coupons, and then I had a $2 digital and a two and a 50 cent digital for the Colgate. My subtotal was $7.98, $9.03 with tax. I rolled a $5 in Walgreens cash rewards, and I paid $4.03 out of pocket. Um, I did submit this one to Ibotta and I did get the $2 back. So I got back $5 register reward, $5 register reward, and $2 for a total of $12 back. So this first transaction was a $4.02 money maker on my subtotal. So this is the second transaction. Three of the Crest again, two of the Colgate. They are the Optic White, two at $5.98, and then again the Crest, three for three. At same exact coupons, 50 cent paper, two $2 off of one Crest paper, and then a $2 digital and a 50 cent digital, subtotal $7.98. I rolled again $5 in Walgreens cash rewards and paid $4.03 out of pocket. 
same exact thing. I got back a $5 register reward for the Crest, $5 register reward for the Colgate, and then $2 on Ibotta, making this transaction $4 and two cent money maker. So this is the third transaction. It's the Dawn, the One Act Shampoo and Conditioner. It's in the thumbnail. I did buy it. It's on the receipt. It just, I left it downstairs. And if I go back downstairs and the baby sees me, I'm just going to cry. So I'm going to leave it down there, but I did buy it. And then the Cottonelle, the Pantene, and the Campbell. Um, here's the Cottonelle at $5.99. The Campbell, two for two. The Dawn, four of them. They ring up um, two at $99, so $198 and $198. The Pantene, I made a mistake, you guys. I said three for eleven ninety seven, and for some reason I don't know why. I just I don't know why I grabbed the next one, but I did. And then the Axe at four ninety nine. There is the Point Booster for get a five dollar uh, reward when you spend twenty. The two dollars off the Axe, the five dollars off the Pantene, and then the four registry rewards that I rolled. So I told you guys my subtotal would have been ninety one cents, and I would have just paid that plus tax. But my dollar off the Cottonelle Digital didn't come off. I'll contact customer service for that. For the most part, they're all nice. They never give me any problems. It only takes a few minutes to do that. And then I returned the Pantene, which is right here. So $3.99 off my subtotal and $0.36 cents off of my tax. Um, brought my total to $4.37. And then I did get the $4 registry reward for the Pantene that I rolled into my final transaction. And I got back the $2 for the Axe. So my store is tagged for buy two toys at $6.99, get one free. But when I try to take uh, two of these and like a Thomas the Train toy, these were ringing up for buy two, get two free. So I put the Thomas the Train back and just grabbed two more of the uh, Playwright toys. So here they are, buy two, get two free. Two of them ring up at $6.99 and then two are free. I rolled the $4 registry art from the Pantene. My subtotal was $9.98. I rolled $5 in cash rewards. Um, I paid... $4.98 plus tax out of pocket. So these all came out to about $125 plus tax, which is not a bad deal, especially since Christmas is coming around. Guys, yeah, so final cost for everything, cash out of pocket, all of my subtotals were $16.84. I'm gonna subtract the $3.99 for the Pantene, made the final cost $12.85. I got back $6 on Ibotta, $2 for um, the Colgate, $2 for the Colgate Optic White, and then $2 for the Axe Shampoo. And then I did get a dollar back from customer service for the um, Cottonelle. That made the final cost cash out of pocket $5.85 for all 24 items or about 23 cents each. And then with tax, everything was $11.67 or about 48 cents each. And if I count the points that I rolled, everything all together was $15.31 and then $21.13 with tax which is not a bad deal because uh, actual cash out of pocket, all I spent was about $6 plus tax. That does bring us to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what deals you plan to get down in the comments at Walgreens, and I will see you guys in the next one.